here's an update on the uh, screen protector, as you can see from the angle here. It's got lots of fingerprints on it, but I'm not overly fussy about things like that. I'm just mainly interested in uh, protecting the actual source screen with, a, with the uh, glass on top. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's shiny or stuff like that. I, you know, first world problems, when the sun reflects in my face, I do something to mitigate it. I'm not worried about buying fancy matte screens and stuff like that. I've noticed the responses through this screen are just wonderful. I have no issues with touch controls or anything like that. So my assessment on this um, fairly reasonably priced screen is it's great. Now I put the uh, paint protection film over the top of the Model 3 logo. As you can see, it's taking lots of dirt and stuff. And we've got these protectors along the uh, sill here in here. They seem to be taking a lot of the dirt. Could have done with going up a little higher, but hey, kind of everything. And they go all the way back to here, which seems a little pointless because there's no feet ever going to cross there. But as you can see, I've scuffed it a couple of times up there. So yes, it would have been nice if the uh, protection went all the way up. But uh, it's pretty good. It captures most of the dirt and the mat. Okay, this is what I came out to this morning with the uh, door kick guard. It's peeling off. Not quite sure what's going on with that, but it's going to have to be stuck back down and I may have to use extra sticky tapes, but uh, not happy with that. That's It was actually peeling at the edges and I folded it back down and now it's just this morning it's just peeled all the way back to here on its own. Weird. But I am heating the car, so maybe that has something to do with it. Now, this is the uh, protectors on the door. As you can see, I haven't touched this one since I put it on, and this is what's happened. It's not stuck down. Now, I can get it to stick. Let's just see here. Yeah, I can get it to go back down again, uh, but it is kind of wrinkled a little bit, and... It doesn't stick at this end very well at all. As you can see here, there's some wrinkles here that won't come go out. Uh, this corner here didn't stick too well. Um, yeah, I'm not overly impressed with these. They just don't seem to stick. And so there might be some extra tape put on these later on. From double-sided tape or something behind just to get it to work. Not impressed. And the same on the other side. Okay, and the back doors. There's a bit there that's curled down. And the rest seems reasonable, but it's not used much. This back door doesn't get opened, moved around or anything. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. This one on the passenger side seems to have held a little better. Let's see, that seems to have curled off there. Oh well. And as for the mats here we have in the car, this one gets a lot of use, obviously, the driver's side. It's faring very well. It's capturing all the moisture and so forth. I can't grumble. I'm not one for keeping my car pristine clean. But uh, there you go. Yep, I've had people in this side as well. As you see, they don't seem to be conscientious about getting in, <laughs> lifting their feet. And again, pretty messy. These uh, floor mats are doing their job very well. As you can see, I've had people in the back. Excuse the uh, attempt at a mount sitting there on the floor. And on the other side there, yep, we've had people in the back. And yes, the mud is being captured. Now, if I hadn't have put these in, that would now be going into the uh, base carpet in the car. Well, guess where we are? 
in a car wash. Yeah, I'm taking my Tesla through a standard non-touch car wash. It's got paint protection film on it, and we'll see how it goes. Apparently, this is not unusual, but we'll see. Well, there we go. It's washed, looking a little cleaner. It's the first wash it's ever had. Not bad. Paint protection film, there's the indicator that uh, paint protection film is in this car, on this car, and it's all the way down the A pillar, on the fenders, lights, bumpers, and hood. And as you can see, it's doing just fine. Again, I'm not fussy about cleaning my car every two minutes. I don't have an ego to rub in that direction. It's a vehicle that gets me around. And it's doing very well. I will probably be washing the car in the next day or two, maybe even today. Some of the things I noticed is that uh, you get streaks from all the uh, schmutch, the smush, but what do you call it? Stuff that flies up from the roads. And when I wash the windows, the water goes down the side onto the window frame here. Interesting that it does that. Um, just flies off the edge and down the window. Not too worried about it. <laughs>